Hey guys, thanks so much for coming in for a video today. I am surrounded by my haul. I have been accumulating things in this room for probably a week, but I've gone thrifting probably oh, probably four or five times this week, so it's just inundated in here. I've got bags all over me, so let's see what happens. All right, let's start with this um, candle set. This is a Christmas set from Yankee Candle. It smells so good. It smells like the uh, cinnamon. It smells just like those red hot candies. And it's a little package with a voltive, with a little snowman voltive, but I'm just going to start burning them now. I don't need for it to be Christmas for this house to smell like cinnamon. I just love for this. This was only $1.99. And I've already listed them, but I'm going to show them to you again. This is the, um, the Starbucks Christmas blind, but look how they look like little shot glasses. They're actually called uh, taster size. I may have showed them to you already, so please forgive me if I did, but these are already listed on Amazon. They're going for a pretty good price on Amazon. I love them. I think they're so cute. Then here's another cute little mug. This is vintage guys, because this is made in Japan and it is Cinderella. Look how precious that is. I just love Disney Cinderella. There's the fairy godmother. So, so pretty. And it's even trimmed at the top in blue. So it's really fancy and pretty. This one was $2, but I really liked it. I'm gonna give it to my son anyway. And anyway, it's, it's a St. Arnold as well. St. Arnold's Brewery, but it's from Whole Foods. And I really like that. All right, let's start over here. Oh, I got some Nick and Nora pajamas. Nick and Nora, they're super cute. They are a tween size, so this is like a large youth. And these were $5.40. Some of these were sold separately for some reason, and some were sold as a set, even though they were from the same uh, Value Village, I believe it was. So uh, this is a um, little doggy bath. Two doggies there taking their bath and a little playtime, some bubbles, some soap. And these are silky sort of satin fabric. Really, really nice in there. Nick and Nora, as I said, so they have all their prints. They're so cute. Dog. And then this is the bottom. And was this the one that was separate? This is the one that was sold as a set. $5.45 for the whole set. So that wasn't bad and they're in great condition. So I'm gonna put them up on eBay. And again, guys, I don't know if I've reminded you this year I've been doing videos for a couple of years already but I always try to let my um, subscribers know that if there's anything that I have showed you that I have not listed yet and you're interested in it please let me know because we can always do a PayPal transaction and um, I think I'm even going to start putting my PayPal uh, link so that you can just find me directly if there's anything you're interested in I can cut you a much better deal if we don't have to go through eBay and the like with the fees so just let me know. Here's another set. These are the same size, a large youth, which I believe is like a 12, 14, but these were, this is extra large youth. Yeah, this is extra large and this is 14, 16. And this, this is the one that was sold separately. This is so cute. The little piggy banks, all patterns. And they also are satin, excellent condition, pink background and just a multitude of colors there on the piggies. Aren't those pretty? I really like the top on this one too. This is very much for spring or summer. It's just got the little spaghetti strap top. Really, really cute. And this one I got, these were the separate sets. So this one was reduced to $1.91 on the pants. And then the top was also reduced to $1.91. It had been $2.92. So pretty much $4 for the set. Super cute, Nick and Nora pajamas. Let me show you this gorgeous bag. I gave this one to my daughter. I was gonna put it, I'm gonna stuff it real quick so you can see it and then I'll show you what's in it. I gave this one to my daughter because she really liked it and I thought she would. Either her or my eldest daughter love Halloween. And this is Halloween and this is leather, guys. Leather handles, leather trim here, very well made. Your, Little vintage looking monsters, some candy corn, some ghosts. Doctor bag, I guess is the generic term. And then it's even got a little strap, so you can do a crossbody with the strap. This was four dollars, and she fell in love with it. She said, "No, you're not selling it. Let me have it." So, she's keeping it. Super cute. Made in the USA. It's got the. Let me see what the brand is. Nordic House, New York City. Super cute. I love the big, big handles and again this is genuine leather on that trim really well made nice lining too okay then i got her these leggings jenkins or whatever they're called this is by love culture this is one of the 
uh, I think this is a store in the mall, but they're really cute, black, thick leggings, stretchy, and they've got the um, Aztec or tribal print there at the bottom. She really liked them. I think they're super cute, really good condition as well. Look brand new, actually. And these were $2.32. Anyway, my daughter does do a lot of crafting. She does a lot of things with ribbons. She does the dream catchers. So I got this bag full of ribbons, mostly satin. And that was $5, $4.94. And they're mostly um, full. And of course, we use them to wrap gifts as well. Right. Then I got one of these little mini um, organizers, agendas, whatever. And this is not leather, but I thought it would be a nice seller because it's so small and it is a binder. I mean, it is a ring binder, so you can actually refill it. It's got a place for your pen. It's got a thing for your eyes. It's a perfect wallet size, and I'll put that up on eBay. These do really well for me. I sell them for about $25 average on the medium size ones like these or bigger. So I'm gonna probably start that up at 20. I think it's a really nice one. This is a super nice one. It's still tagged. Originally $43, but this is by uh, Lord & Taylor, Genuine Leather, so it's an exclusive Lord & Taylor brand, and look how pretty that is. It's like a croc, a mock croc uh, imprint there. Love it. It is black, and it also has the um, the slots for your cards, fill a tablet, or your cards, and all the usual index, and I love this back here too. Extra cards all in the back. Really, really pretty. Again, this is an exclusive Lord & Taylor. Dead stock, brand new, and I'll definitely put that one up on eBay. So cute, I love it. I think it's so pretty. I like this this size myself. I may switch to my to a bigger size if I get a bigger bag, because I still haven't bought a refill for my Louis Vuitton. I've just been using blank pages. I really have enjoyed using the blank pages, because I'm not bound to that one day, and I feel guilty if I didn't scratch out or add anything to that day or something. This is from the Austin Beer Garden. Austin Beer Garden Brewery Company. I guess it's, I think it's a restaurant. I saw some pictures of it on the website, so I'm assuming it's a restaurant, beer, they brew their own beer and whatnot. So I really like it. It's a patch and these do really well. Usually, especially when it's something cool, like anything out of Austin is cool, we all know that. And I like this one too, same thing, but in brown. And I got these for 99 cents. It was a good deal on these. These were from that new thrift store that I found the other day. I went back there. Oh my gosh, I got some books to show you and come back and see my book haul. I really got some good selling books from there. They're boring, but I always get them because I really love to have them, which is my wooden hangers. When I don't put things on my mannequin for pictures, I use a nice wooden hanger. I don't use a cheap little plastic one or anything like that. I try to make it look really nice, you know, and elevate its value that way just by the presentation. I've got these as well. These are I think less than a dollar, maybe 50 cents to a dollar a piece. Like this one, I haven't opened it yet. And this one is $3, $2.92, dollars And there's actually five of them in here. I love the hangers that are in here. There's a few for slack, but there's one of these with the hooks, which are great for my ties and my, um, that I sell or for my scarves and things like that, belts, anything. Love it. I always like to have those types of hangers. I believe it's selling for a hundred dollars. 99 or hundred dollars or maybe even maybe even 110 but it's the uh, family tree maker and it's sealed brand new and I got it for what does it say 393 I got it for 393 at the uh, big family thrift and then I got one of these so I'm not gonna sell it as brand new I'm just gonna say that it's all um, complete and in a box and this is the hideaway and it's got all the pieces in there I, I looked in the back and i looked on the listing so there is nothing missing but yeah these sell for about 30 dollars on ebay and i bought it for two dollars pretty pretty princess this is the vintage i believe i don't know maybe earlier than 1990 but this is a 1990 version and i think the only thing missing is a ring so I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to break it up into parts and sell it as parts because each little individual ring is selling for about $3 shipped and then um, I think $10 for the jewelry. They vary, but that's what I've seen up on eBay and I'm going to check it out and or maybe I'll do a complete, I don't know, or what I have as is, I don't know. But I, saw, I bought it for $4, $3.99 yesterday at the Goodwill. Oh, I got one of these. These are selling pretty well, too. This is called the Stuffies. 
These are the stuffies. I don't know why they're magnetized, guys. If you know about them, let me know. They, he has magnets on his hands. He's a dinosaur. He's super cute. And he has a zipper on his mouth. That's what, kind of the thing that they do. You zip up their mouths. They're called stuffies. And this was 79 cents. Their stuffed animals are really cheap at the Goodwill. I really am impressed with them. They're, they're very cheap now. And I like that. So I got this scraper tool. I'm going to give this to my son because he lives in Chicago. And it's uh, to scrape the snow. And it's brand new, guys. I should check and see what they sell for. That. <laughs> and I'm actually going to ask him because if he doesn't, if he doesn't think he's going to use it, I'm going to sell it. But it's tagged. I got it for, what did I get this for? $2.00. And you, you hold on to this tool on the inside and it's got all this uh, wooly type of material inside and it's used to scrape the ice off of your windshield. So that's pretty good. I'm sure it's a lot more expensive than $2. Yeah, $1.99. Oh, I got some cards. Gotta have my thank you cards for my customers. So I got this one. This one says you are La Creme de la Creme, 79 cents. And these are new packages. I really like those. And then this one says Merci beaucoup. Little, what do you call it? Little kettle. Thought that was really cute. And then I got a to do list as well. I'll put this in one of my organizers and it's magnetizing, whatever. And these were 79 cents a piece. So that is that. And guys, I think I'm going to leave it here because I just heard my husband walk, drive in. And I'm sure he's going to walk in talking to me. We'll pick up where I left off. And show you the rest of this stuff later. Those are just some shorts that I got. So that's it, guys. Thanks so much for coming in for this haul. I really appreciate it very much. Please share the video if you can. Please come back and see me again really soon. I have more to show you. I have a ride-along that I'm going to upload in just a minute. And, of course, I'm still going to show you my garage sale video as well. Thanks again, guys. Have a great one. Bye. Bye.